Hello. Today before us, we have a para completion question. So para completion question gives you n minus one sentences of a paragraph in order and asks you to fill the last sentence, fill in the last sentence and complete the paragraph. So what we are seeing is an entire paragraph minus the last sentence. And we have to fill that last sentence here. So this is where we have to put the last sentence and complete the paragraph. So let us try to find which sentence fits in at this site. The best thing about para completion questions is that we already know what the nature tone, nature and tone of the sentence of the option should be. It should be conclusive, right? It should end the paragraph on a satisfactory note. Satisfactory in the sense of whatever sense it is satisfying. It needn't necessarily be positive. It needn't necessarily be negative. It needn't necessarily even be just, fair, or equitable. It needn't be equanimous. It needn't be good. It needn't be bad. It can be anything, right? But it should make sense. It should make sense in the context of the paragraph. That That is what counts. So we analyze the same now. Uh, let us see. So the easiest thing is that we already know the site of where we have to put it. Unlike uh, other questions, like maybe, uh, you know, a parajambul question or an odd one out question. We have to figure out the sites ourselves, but here we are given the same. So let us try to solve it quickly. So first, first thing obviously is to read the paragraph. That's imperative. Should Australia be absent from the sporting event? Australian athletes preparation and training for the Winter Olympics will be wasted. They lose the opportunity to compete with other athletes, becoming political pawns and victims. As for Australia, since the mainstream opinion of international society opposes the politicization of the Olympic Games, acting against this would deal a heavy blow uh, would deal a heavy blow to Australia's reputation. So we can see that this is about Australia, I guess Australia boycotting some uh, Winter Olympic. Uh, games, I guess. Uh, this might be, yeah, this is likely the case. Uh, boy, uh, boycotting Winter Olympic Games uh, held in some other country, I guess. Maybe China because the source is Global Times. But uh, this information is often not given. So let us not assume that and solve it notwithstanding. So in the options, I can definitely see China. So I can figure it out that uh, that might be the case. So should Australia be absent from the sporting event? So this, uh, the first sentence uh, says that uh, if Australia doesn't participate, it's uh, uh, it will be its loss, right? Not the loss of the host country because it's, uh, but uh, you know, uh, more more it more of its own loss because its athletes' hard work would be wasted. And then the second sentence still simply carries it on, while the third sentence says that uh, as for Australia, since the mainstream, so Australia it says that this will tarnish Australia's repute. This boycott. So basically, the idea of the entire paragraph is to highlight that uh, the act of boycott would harm Australia more or like uh, to highlight the harm that the boycott would do to Australia rather than to the host country. So let us keep that in mind and uh, see uh, if the options fit. I can see that C, the fact is Australia is not qualified to point an accusing figure at China's human rights issues. So I don't think this is uh, this fits because the fact is Australia is not qualified to point an accusing finger at China's human rights issues. So this talks about Australia's moral credentials or Australia's uh, reasonability for criticizing China. So I think uh, this is taken from the same article and I guess Australia boycotted Chinese Winter Olympics in order to, you know, uh, voice its uh, opposition against the said so-called human rights abuses that China has committed in its country, a number of them. So this is uh, saying that whether they are reasonable or not, but that is not the intent of the passage uh, of this paragraph. It might be the intent of some other paragraph in the same article, but this paragraph talks about the losses that Australia will take from its move, not whether Australia is qualified or whether it's right or wrong. See, we are not discussing whether Australia's blame on China or Australia's reasons for boycott are right or wrong. We are not even discussing Australia's reasons for boycott directly. So this sentence is not fitting in this paragraph, right? So we just eliminate this sentence because C doesn't fit in this context. C is talking about uh, Australia's, uh, whether Australia uh, Australia's criticism and reasons for boycott are justified or not. While this paragraph is intended to show uh, what Australia will lose in the bargain, not this. 
so uh, this is not this doesn't talk about australia's laws rather it talks about uh, discusses deliberates the reasonability of australia's reasons for boycott or their validity so this is not correct obviously it's it is reported that next month the australian senate will deliberate on australia's participation this talks about a factual thing about uh, an action being made in the real world talks about an actual action rather than something abstract but this is also not relevant since uh, this doesn't directly talk about australia's loss now you might be tempted to think that uh, because it's causing because it's uh, leading to a loss so the australian senate would be deliberating whether it's harmful or good but then that doesn't fit in this context right because the, this the flow is going on with what all australia's losses will be right the athletes the international repute so uh, the it's reported the next month the australian senate will so putting a time stamp there in the last sentence when there is none in the paragraph time stamps are typically not put in the last sentence of the paragraph unless uh, they continue a flow of chronology so i don't think that d is correct either so we are left with b and a politicizing sports has become increasingly unpopular now i can gauge your motivation behind being tempted for this but if you look politicizing sports this is something that is general right and we are going more uh, we are going specific here we are talking about international repute we are talking about australian athletes performance and there is no reason to go general politicizing sports has become increasingly unpopular had this been the second last sentence it could have been true like just have politicizing sports have become increasingly unpopular put this sentence here and then uh, follow it up by saying that uh, because politicizing sports has become increasingly unpopular and australia is politicizing sports the politicians who are doing it may face backlash in the elections or in like you know australian people would not vote for people who are politicizing sports so it's their loss so it would have enlisted a loss but we know that there are not two sentences there there's just one sentence so this one is not something that uh, fits in the tone of the paragraph and ties it all up together this fails to tie up the paragraph together right uh, or this does or uh, this also fails to you know uh, be uh, this is uh, kind of abrupt unless it is followed by something so this is also not correct a winter olympic boycott will trigger strong resentment from the chinese people further negatively affecting educational economic and people exchange exchanges between the two countries so this one is definitely a loss a clear loss that's being mentioned and uh, uh, see the thing is that it talks about a winter olympics boycott so it ties up everything neatly because uh, if you look uh, here we don't explicitly uh, talk about the boycott but this a winter olympics boycott this is uh, referring to it uh, and saying that will trigger strong resentment from the chinese people uh, further and uh, telling you see this concluding paragraph is just summing up educational economic and people exchange with, between the two countries so this is uh, further negatively affecting so some further so this sentence obviously draws on something that has previously come makes it a likely contender for being the last sentence so more so than anywhere else in uh, para completion you'll need to eliminate other options but uh, often you will be able to find support for a sentence in its own right as well so uh, given all those considerations b is the correct answer thank you hope you enjoyed the session I hope to see you again. Thank you.